Loggins Den. Today's video is a start of a challenge, a screen challenge. You see, I have a screen problem. On the week of September 5th through the 12th, I averaged 26 hours and 29 minutes. The week before, I averaged 30 hours. And this does not take into account how much TV I watch. And over the summer, I do not have kids, so I cannot even imagine how many hours I spent watching TV, YouTube, or just spent on social media. My screen time was broken down from that 26 hours into 11 hours of entertainment slash YouTube, five hours, 54 minutes of social media, and one hour and 47 minutes of creativity, which if I am creating things, whether I'm on my notes, checking emails, creating YouTube videos, I'm okay with that. It's all the other stuff that I have an issue with. I'm totally okay with spending my time being productive, but I'm pretty bummed about how much time I'm on YouTube and social media. See, I don't even mind being on either YouTube or Instagram. The problem is when I get into a media black hole. A media black hole is when you start watching something that you intended to watch, and then you find yourself somewhere totally different. You keep getting farther and farther in the black hole. Here's what I mean. You might be on Netflix and you start watching a season and you don't go off something else, but instead you watch an episode, then you've watched two episodes, then three episodes, and then somehow you just watch an entire season of choose the season. That's a problem, especially if your episodes are an hour long. Seven hours of your day has just gone by. That really struggles when I'm like in the summer and stuff. Or you're on YouTube and you finish the intended clip of what you've wanted to watch, the intended episode on YouTube, and then it just goes to a new video. And it might be about what you originally watched, but sometimes it's not. Then you finish watching that and you go to something else totally different. Or on YouTube, now they have the short clips and I'll watch these short clips and then it just goes to the next one and the next one and the next one. And to be honest, I have no idea how long I watch these clips for. Or I use Instagram and I just keep sliding and sliding and sliding, looking to the new, the next, the next post, the next post. That's a black hole media, a media black hole. See, I've been thinking about like at the end of my life, am I going to want to have just watched a few more hours of YouTube or watched some more Netflix or got to see a few more posts on Instagram? I think the answer is no. Instead, I want to go on more adventures. I want to be more present when I'm around people. And when I am using these media devices, I'd like to use it as a tool to learn about things that I really enjoy. See, I like playing disc golf. So if I'm watching videos on disc golf, that's totally cool. Or I really enjoy the gym. So garage gym reviews and, and squat university, like I learn about the tools I like to use and then how to move better. If I'm using YouTube in that way, that's totally cool. It's when I get into the media black hole, which is the problem. Here's the challenge. The challenge is to use less screen time. Here's how I'm gonna do that. I'm going to use a log, a screen log. Write down what I'm using. So if it's YouTube, write down the time and the duration. Hopefully this gets me in and out of the app quicker than if I were to just scroll. And then the end goal is to have less time than the week before. After the first week, I'm gonna make another video and seeing how it went. Did I actually stay on? Did I, did I really work towards that challenge? Did I use the tool I wanted to use, the log? And what does life look like? Did I accomplish more things during the week? If you find that screen time is an issue with you, I encourage you to write down below in the comments about what app you use too much. And that if you were to take away your screen time, what would you like to add into your life instead? Until next time, we'll see you later. So every time you think of an elephant, what color do you think of?
Great. Rod, well, pink elephant now because Roger Federer would always ask about, don't think about a pink elephant. You know what I was thinking about on the court that day? A pink elephant. So every time I've heard that interview, that's the color I think of. <laughs>